It's me, the cookbook lady. Welcome back to my kitchen, friends. As y'all saw, today I am trying out yet another brownie recipe. The first brownie recipe that I tried for this channel, I was not too impressed with. So fingers crossed that this one turns out a little bit better. Today's recipe is coming from this cookbook here, Dinner Bell. I love the cover art for this. And another thing that I really enjoy about this cookbook is that each person who has submitted a recipe, their signature, the, like their handwritten signature is listed with the recipe. And they also have like these cute little rustic drawings, which just ties back into the cover of this cookbook. So let's not waste any more time and let's get to baking. And don't forget to stick around till the end for my honest review of this recipe. To kick this recipe off, I'm taking my melted butter and my brown sugar and I'm going to mix that very well into my mixing bowl. Then I'm beating in one egg. Sorry. Just a brief disruption in your scheduled programming here. Um, this recipe is for a nine by nine pan, which I do not possess. <laughs> so I'm going to double the recipe and cross my fingers that it will fit into my 10 by 15 jelly roll pan and everything will turn out somewhat decent. Okay, that's it. Y'all can continue watching now. Then, I'm gonna sift together my flour and my cocoa powder and I'm gonna mix that in to my creamed mixture. After mixing thoroughly, I'm gonna add in my vanilla. These brownies are going to get baked in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven from 25 to 30 minutes. While our brownies are baking, there's a frosting that we have to make that's recommended for this recipe. To a small mixing bowl, I'm adding in one tablespoon of cocoa powder and about one tablespoon of butter. To that bowl, I'm also going to add in two tablespoons of hot water and as much confectioner sugar as I need in order to get the desired consistency that I'm looking for. The frosting should be thin, however.
once our brownies come out of the oven, we're going to frost them while they're still warm. All right, my friends, it has finally come to the point of the video where we do a little taste test of the recipe. But before I get to tasting, I kind of want to show it off a little bit. So this is what the brownie looks like. That frosting has kind of solidified. Actually, what I ended up doing, because <laughs> I'm not trying to stay up till midnight. Uh, I threw that um, pan of brownies in the refrigerator because as I was slicing them, I realized, oh, these are still a little too warm to be slicing. They need to definitely cool off. So if anything, let them cool completely before you cut into them. But I have high hopes for these. These definitely look more brownie-esque than the first video that I did. So, let's give them a taste. Woo! I kinda like, hits ya. Mmm. One thing that I like about bacon brownies in the jelly roll pan is that the outer edges of the brownies get really crisp while the middle stays really chewy and these are actually really really chewy. Mm -hmm. I can dig it. Okay, so I noticed in the recipe that there was no salt added to it. So I ended up using salted sweet cream butter. Mm. So that kind of gives it a nice little like salty taste to it, like a sweet and salty kind of flavor. Okay, I think <laughs> I've had enough to uh give my verdict on this recipe. All right, so these brownies were really simple and really easy to make. Um, they are very dense. There is no leavening agent to this recipe. So they are relatively uh, flat and thin as far as brownies go, especially because of the pan that I baked them in. I'm sure the 9 by 9 inch pan would have resulted in maybe a thicker brownie, but I don't have that kind of pan currently. I digress. It's very dense, but also very chewy in the center. Um, the edges crisped up really nicely. Using the salted sweet cream butter, there is like a subtle like sweet and saltiness um, to this recipe. Um, however, there is a major like buttery flavor in my opinion to these brownies. But they definitely do taste very chocolatey, which is one issue that I had with the saucepan brownies that I made previously. If you want to check out that video, I'll link it somewhere as a card here here I don't know where it's gonna end up being but um, they definitely are very chocolatey uh, they're very chewy and very moist the recipe was very simple to make I think all said and done from mixing everything to the actual bacon time under an hour so if you are looking for like a quick 
dessert kind of recipe that you can throw together really fast, I definitely recommend this recipe. However, do I feel like this is the best brownie recipe out there? No, I'm still searching for that. However, it's a decent recipe and it's pretty good. Like, definitely will kill a sweet tooth and a craving for brownies if you have one. So how many stars would I give this recipe? I think I'd give this recipe probably like 3.8 stars. It's good. It's a good recipe. Um, hey y'all, it's me currently editing this video. Y'all don't pay any attention to what I just said because let me tell y'all something about these brownies, okay? These brownies got me robbed by my coworkers. It is just insane how feral they went about these brownies also my friend kira from work her mom is a pastry chef right so kira has some pretty high standards and so does her daughter right because her grandma is a pastry chef her daughter said that these were hands down the best brownies she's ever had and my friend kira also enjoyed these brownies as well so, uh, more realistically, we're definitely talking about at least four stars, if not, like, a 4.8. Y'all need to make these brownies for yourself. I just don't think it's, like, the best brownie recipe. If you like your brownies thin, if you like crispy edges, if you like chewy centers, if you like to have, like, a little extra touch with, like, a little, like, frosting on top, I definitely would check out this recipe for sure. But other than that, I mean, it's an easy recipe to make. It's just, I don't know. I just feel like there's something, something missing, like a little bit of oomph. It's just, it's just not quite there for a four or five star rating. But anyways, friends, I appreciate y'all for joining me on this culinary adventure. If you did happen to like today's video, how about showing it a little bit of love by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you happen to like the vibe here on my channel, consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on because I post every Friday and every Sunday. And I don't want you missing out on the next culinary adventure. On the subject of subscribers, I have noticed that my channel has grown quite a bit. And there is quite a bit of y'all. Um, so... First of all, thank y'all so much. Uh, it really does mean the world to me. But also, come say hello. Drop a comment in the comments down below. I would love to get to know every single last one of y'all. That being said, I need to take myself to bed because I gotta get up early and deliver these brownies to my coworkers or else I might not be on this earth a second longer. <laughs> Anyways, y'all be safe out there and be sweet to one another. Bye, y'all!